When you're going after those high score streaks, uh, 1,700 points for swarms, 1,500 for dogs, you need to build your class around the idea that you're going to be alive for a while. And what this comes down to is figuring out what kills people most often and then finding ways to defend against those things. So this class right here has five perks, two attachments, and after much trial and error, I've decided it's the way to go if you want to hit that swarm. Now, <clears throat> Ghost is a must. Uh, I would argue because if the enemy team gets a UAV, and the chances are extremely high that they do, uh, while you're building up your 1,700 points, you know, it's going to take a couple minutes, uh, and chances are they call in more than one, uh, you're in trouble. You know, if you can rack up 1,500 points while the enemy knows your position, either they're incredibly incompetent, or you're too good uh, to need this video, or any other video, any other video, really. Now, the biggest debate for me in this setup was Hardline versus Flakjack, and ultimately I went with Hardline. In previous Call of Duties, Hardline was like for newer players to hit their smaller streaks easier. You know, the higher the streaks were, the less meaningful the perk became because, you know, the thought was if you can get 10 kills, you can get 11. And that one kill isn't worth giving up something valuable uh, in its place, like stopping power or flak jacket. However, in this game, it's 20% off. So for a 1,700 score streak, that's 340 points off, which is 3 kills. And that last 40 points, uh, you know, which more often than not, you're going to have to get in the form of a kill as well. So... You could argue it rounds up to four kills, which is a big deal, you know? Those three kills are people that can shoot back at you. Think of every time you've ever died one or two or three off of a score streak, and that won't happen. You know, every time you've died one or two or three or even four off of a score streak, that would have been a VSAT, uh, dogs, whatever. You start to understand how significant Hardline can really be. Uh, I always run Dexterity and Toughness because, you know, they'll save your life a lot more often than you realize, unless you take them off. And anything that saves your life even once is incredibly valuable because it only takes one death to ruin the streak, right? So if, if, you know, if toughness saves your life once on your quest for 1,700 points, that's something you want to do because that's the difference between hitting your streak and not hitting your streak. Now, Engineer, I put in place uh, because basically uh, it, it needs to make up for Flak Jacket. I run Flak Jacket not because I'm scared of grenades, but because I'm scared of claymores and bouncing Bettys. Uh, because they are very popular, and again, if you're staying alive for 1,700 points, it's very likely you're going to run into some form of explosive landmine, and that breaks controllers, really. Uh, getting killed by inanimate objects when you're on a streak is the biggest danger your TV and your controller face. So what Engineer does is it allows you to see the Bouncing Betty, and 9 times out of 10, it'll be like right next to a shock charge. You shoot both of these things for 50 points a pop, and that's a kill by itself. And then you sit there and you wait for the douchebag sniper to, uh, you know, come find whoever destroyed his equipment. You know, you're aiming down sights at the door. You know he's in there. You pop him too. And suddenly you've turned what would have been a death into 200 points. And without Engineer or Flak Jacket, it would have been a death. You know, you can check corners for Claymores and Bouncing Bettys all the time, but that's going to slow you down. It's going to force you to look at the ground, and that's going to get you shot. Now, you know, if you're not looking at corners, you're going to walk into a room, and if there's a Bouncing Betty there... You dive prone to the ground, the guy who owns the Bouncing Betty comes, kills you while you're going prone, you know, maybe you get prone blocked, uh, you know, whatever, you hit a shock charge because you couldn't see the shock charge, you're done, you hit a claymore, the claymore kills you, that's incredibly frustrating. So uh, you want to have all five of these perks. They will keep you alive, and staying alive is what gets you the score streaks. And obviously to get these perks you have to use two wild cards, which means you have to give up your tactical, your tactical grenade, your lethal, and your secondary. You can live without these things. Uh, no pun intended if anyone gets that. Now, I consider secondaries a waste of a point all the time because you can put an extra ammo attachment, uh, like extended mags on your primary, fast mag if you're worried about you know getting caught reloading with your pants down, etc., etc. And really, if you're going for a high streak, you'll have ample opportunity to pick up a better weapon. Basically, give yourself overkill on top of two attachments and five perks, making you a superhero on the battlefield. And, you know, if you want to, if you are adamant about using a secondary, get rid of one attachment on your primary, get the secondary. But you do need to keep that suppressor on uh, your primary for the same reasons you need ghosts is because it's going to be a lot harder and you're going to die a lot more frequently trying to get to 1700 points if the enemy sees your red dot on their mini map you know a smart person who sees your red dot on their mini map is they are going to be able to kill you it should be you know when somebody knows your position they should be able to kill you pretty simple really now 
the tactical grenade, the lethal grenade, on average, they're going to get you like a kill a piece. And that's being generous, really. You know, a lot of times they won't get you anything. And you have to realize you're trading these things out for perks that will save your life. I guarantee it. At least once in your quest for 1,700 points, uh, the each one of these perks will save your life once. And ultimately, your life saved is always infinitely more valuable than an enemy's life taken. Uh, because if you die, the streak ends. You know, it's all about staying alive. Long-term investments, things that are going to aid you continually throughout your life, whereas a grenade may or may not get you one kill in a certain situation. And so those are my thoughts, those are my arguments for what is and why it is the best class to go for these high kill streaks. This is Batman signing out.